the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative presents the Damascene Podcast. This is Father John Summers, the headmaster of the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative. We have something special for you today, um, <clears throat> a conti- a, another life of a saint to continue our series on the, the initiative reads The Lives of the Saints. Today, we'll be reading the life of St. Alban, the proto-martyr of England. We find the life of our Holy Father, uh, Alban, in the history of the Venerable Bede. St. Alban is the first recorded martyr of Britain. He was beheaded in Roman Britain at Verulamium during the 3rd or 4th century AD. So it was either the late 3rd century or early 4th century during the persecutions of Diocletian. He has been celebrated in England since ancient times. May God bless us and protect us through the prayers of St. Alban. Amen. The Passion of St. Alban and His Companions, who at that time shed their blood for our Lord, A.D. 305. At that time suffered St. Alban, of whom the priest Fortunatus, in the praise of virgins, where he makes mention of the blessed martyrs that came to the Lord from all parts of the world, says, in Britain's isle, was holy Alban born. This Alban, being yet a pagan, at the time when the cruelties of wicked princes were raging against Christians, gave entertainment in his house to a certain clergyman, fleeing from the persecutors. This man he observed to be engaged in continual prayer and watching day and night, when on a sudden the divine grace shining on him, he began to imitate the example of faith and piety which was set before him, and being gradually instructed by his wholesome admonitions, he cast off the darkness of idolatry and became a Christian in all sincerity of heart. The aforesaid clergyman, having been some days entertained by him, it came to the ears of the wicked prince that this holy confessor of Christ, whose time of martyrdom had not yet come, was concealed at Alban's house whereupon he sent some soldiers to make a strict search after him. When they came to the martyr's house, St. Alban immediately presented himself to the soldiers, instead of his guest and master, in the habit or long coat which he wore, and was led bound before the judge. 